Can I see this? Mayor Kim, this is a stack. It's only half. It's only half of the stack of testimonies sent in from people begging, imploring, demanding, asking for you to remove from office, asking for impeachment, asking for the county council to somehow usurp your authority and put into place more stringent actions to protect our county. I know this won't change your mind, but I would be remiss to not show them to you. It breaks my heart that this is what we're seeing and this is what we're experiencing from both our governor and our mayor at this point. I've been asked to communicate to you that people feel this is a tragic reflection of weak leadership. On Monday, you stated that this is a weak virus that's just very contagious. I would beg to differ. This is a very smart virus that predates upon the weak. To think that we are any different than the other countries, communities, municipalities, towns, cities across this planet who are experiencing severe death and tragedy and families. I watched an interview yesterday of a woman, seven of her family members got sick and four died within 24 hours. They didn't think it was coming there either. They didn't think they had community spread, but they don't even live in a community that people are landing there on airplanes, on the daily, in the hundreds. I'm afraid that the arrogance and incompetence will end up being unforgivable if we don't listen and learn and take into consideration the statistics that are already available, already very obvious, and the directives that we have already been asked to make. And I'm, I'm just, I'm sad for that, Mayor Kim. I'm sad for what this will do to our community and that somewhere inside, I have to believe that this is not your intention, but this will leave a tragic stain on your legacy as mayor of the County of Hawaii. And with that, I yield. I'm gonna to respond to that. Very briefly, yeah, go ahead. You know, I don't mind uh, in regards to uh, what you're saying, Councilwoman, but it's got to be based on what we're doing. As far as arrogance, you know, I don't even comment on that. It's not easy to make this kind of decision, but tell me what decision did I make was of arrogance? The keep, keeping voluntarily but mandating that they pay attention to the requirement of staying open is to feed our people that we're responsible for. And I think they all did a better job than mandated you know, in regards to the kind of things they can do because the vast majority of the eateries went, I think, on uh, take-home order and those things. But at least it gave the hotels and other places. There's one in your jurisdiction, I don't know specifically where it is, but Kona was so happy with the owner that says she's gonna remove 50% of his tables to comply with the distance. If arrogance is a factor, then uh, obviously I apologize for being arrogant, but I do not apologize for the decisions made. This is made after consultation what is best for this community. And right now, because of the influx of, of people on the beaches, you know, they probably will have to be changed because uh, the big beaches of Hapuna, and Kua Bay and different places that were closed because they're state parks and there were only a few left open. And I'm afraid that when we have to do the closure, uh, the local people obviously is part of the closure. And that was a very going to be a very difficult decision to be made. I, about four weeks ago, I called Dalmage and I asked him, do we have masks? Do we have PPE for, equip, for our people, for our county people, first responders? Do we have enough for the whole island? Yeah, we have masks. Do we have enough for everybody? No. Okay. His closing comment. Treat this like the normal flu. Don't worry about it. Now, here we are. About two weeks ago, he was on the news saying people may die. 
That's a 180 shift in response. That's our civil defense agency. The president just declared New York a major disaster area. We don't need to recreate the wheel here. We need to watch what everybody did and respond in the same fashion. The food is already here. The businesses that ordered food ordered a month out. The food is on the way. It's You're not covering anything that wasn't already covered. The businesses are not complying with suggestions. They're closing because they have to. We told everybody to socially distance themselves. So they're not going out. That's why businesses are closing. I'm one of them. On the back end of that, I got 40 employees wondering, what am I going to do? Oh, we're starting to sign people up on unemployment. They can't get into the system because the system is overwhelmed because everybody just laid everybody off right now. It's locked. SBA loans. You can't fill the paperwork out online because it's locked. We waited. And now we're dealing with what happens when you react. We're being reactive. We haven't done everything that we can. We saw what was coming. We're the closest to China than any other part of the United States. We're right there. We're the main point. Japan, Hawaii, California. We're right next to the epicenter of where it came from, and we're three months behind. We know, we know what COVID is. We know how it acts. We were just told that asymptomatic people can't transmit. That isn't, I'm not going to say it's not true, but I disagree. It is time. We, we have to make the decision. I'm sorry. Like we, we have to. We have to do it. Your businesses are closing. Your business community is crying. And we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. And I'm not speaking from just my business. I'm, I'm in tech threads with our business owners in our community, and they're all doing the same thing. We're all waiting for the guy above us to make the decision. Do we close? We're waiting on that guy up there to let us know. The federals telling the states, telling the counties. It's just a massive trail of disillusionment on what's happening. We, we can't wait anymore. We're not, people aren't waiting. They're not complying with suggestions. You got to start using the word will and shall. This is what we're going to do. I don't need a t-shirt. I got to make payroll for all our employees. We get people in quarantine, but no one's policing quarantines. This, this is the real situation, but we've never done this before. You've never had to deal with this. I've never done this. Nobody here. Nobody in this, in this county has ever dealt with a pandemic because we haven't had this since 1918. There's no pandemic insurance. So this is all new. But we're trying to recreate something here in this county that's been done across the world already in response to something that is unlike anything we've ever seen before. So let's stop trying to recreate it. I don't think people need to be briefed on what COVID-19 is anymore. We know. We knew in January. No more briefings. Just tell us what to do. We're waiting for you to make that call, Mayor. Because all of us are just sitting here waiting. And it's an intense, serious, frustrated community we're sitting in right now. Everybody is stressed out. If this is an emergency, call it an emergency. If it's not, then call everybody off and tell everybody, go about your business. If I can go get a haircut, then why can't I go to a restaurant? If Target has 300 people in it, why can't more than 10 people gather? I express myself on, online and social media. It's, it's there. 
But given the chance to talk to you, these are my thoughts. And that's, that's real. And I think we have to. You have to. You got to use the word will and shall. I learned that when I walked into this building. Will and shall. Those are the words. No suggestions. I, I'm, I'm looking to you to be that person. And I do not envy you. I am not afraid to make any kind of decision, but the decision has to be based on what knowledgeable people of the uh, disease or the virus you know, tells us to do. If I have caused confusion on it, and I know there was some confusion because of the way it was written and because it's not by me, but giving restaurants the option of what they're going to do with these conditions, because we thought that people needed to be fed, and we created a lifestyle that that is how people get their food. I will be better in regards to how what we're doing, on the shell kind of things versus will kind of things or you know choices. Some of it still is because this is a society of the uh, United States and. You know, sometimes it's better to give them options if it is credible options. But I think there's certain things already that is you shall. But those things, generally speaking, of the health element is, like I know one of the biggest things, you know, Councilman, is that close all the ports, close all the, uh, including airports. That's not, as you know, within our authority. Some of it is not even within the state because that's uh, federal, like the, the ports, the Coast Guard. But bear in mind, heavy discussion has been, we know where the things are coming from. We're an island, and we're lucky on that. Hawaii Island has been so far very fortunate of a minimum impact, only one that was from the mainland. If you have specific, and I know you do, uh, ideas on how we can be better in the way we word things, or the way we do things within our authority, because several of the things you mentioned, I think you know it's state or federal, but within the county government authority, uh, more than open to meet with you and see what things that we can address better. Mayor, last night I sent you a letter which was very difficult for me to do. Because I grew up with your voice on the radio every time there was a disaster. And I looked to you for that protection, that reassurance that you got my back, that you had the community's back. I meant no disrespect in the letter I sent, but I just needed to let you know how I felt, how the entire community feels. And it's hard for me because my partner is on the front line as a first responder. And I read an article today about a woman in New York healthcare system who has been working diligently in the hospital. She contracted COVID, sent her kids to live with her parents, and now she and her husband just are living in opposite rooms of the home. I'm worried that it's going to be my situation very shortly. You keep saying that we weren't ready for this that we're scrambling to develop plans. And I just, that's hard for me to hear when I know that in 2010, a pandemic influenza operations plan was developed. And I just wonder why that has been pushed to the wayside. You know, earlier Bruce Anderson said, now is the time to take this seriously, to isolate. And everything that we are doing is antithesis to that. You said earlier, I wish we could do more, but you do have the power to make that wish come true and to shut things down. I have two questions. The first is, you said you've made your decision in consultation. 
with individuals that this is the plan for Hawaii County? Who are those individuals that agree with this position? The decision to continue operating county as is. I also wonder if you and your team have evaluated the impact of shutting down the county and ordering people to stay home, the impact of doing that now versus waiting till it's too late. I believe that there are going to be very far reaching implications that we cannot even imagine. And I am painfully afraid for our very fragile healthcare system because I do not believe they can handle the overwhelm. We are isolated. We rely on outsiders for supplies. If mainland hospitals that have access to resources are feeling inundated, it's frightening to think the position that we are putting ourselves into. I just wonder if we can think about just even consider shutting down for two weeks to create that breaking point to see if that's going to make a difference. I'd rather do that now and then evaluate where we are later than wait too long and then just die this death by a thousand cuts. That's all I have, Mayor. First, first of all, I appreciate your letter. And as you stated in the letter then and now, the difficulty of writing that letter. First, I want to comment because it was stated on supplies. And also, Chairman Chung, we were very concerned, rightfully so, on testing capabilities because other countries have stated to us that the key is to test, identify, isolate. I wish we had, uh, I don't want to say authority, but you know, capabilities of that. I think you've heard Dr. Anderson, who the State Department of Health, because we have none, 100% of that is within the authority of the state and CDC is for the national, on the national level. On the supplies, on those of, I don't think anyone, not many of us were so disappointed when the president stated, because two weeks ago he notified our governor and likewise our medical people that uh, we have stashes that will respond to your request of shortage of supplies because no facility can store things for two or three months. I mean, you know, money prohibits that. Well, I was just informed yesterday that the president said, uh, basically, state your on your own. Go through your procedural things, and as you know, all of our hospitals are state except for North Hawaii Community Hospital, which is private, and that, that really threw everybody off. We notified the emergency responders that we have a little bit, and we will make them available to people on priority of who they are, not naturally. These are our first responders that are priority number one. We're a county, and we reach it out to the state people I ask all of you that, you know, are disappointed in me, and not our civil defense, because I determined that, disappointing me to call these uh, hospitals in regards to how we've been working with them probably longer than anybody in the state. I know longer to try to work together. This is why we found out that there was only one state government worker responsible for the 167 home care things. We knew how ridiculous that was. So it was us that formed the first force, task force to work with every one of them and meet with them and see how we can service them and provide information and other things to them. I know this sounds like patting yourself on the back, and I, and I am. But I take every one of your statements and the rest of the council very seriously on what we can do better. 